Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Thought to have been made more than 2,000 years ago, these life-size camels and donkeys, sculpted onto rock outcrops in the Arabian desert, caught headlines a couple of years ago. At first there was thought to be just one, but archaeologists have now discovered more than a dozen sculptures. We know that carving rock reliefs is widespread in this part of the world, with discoveries in Egypt, Iran, Mesopotamia, Turkey and so on, but such creations are somewhat rare in the Arabian Peninsula. Even though rock art is somewhat rare compared to neighbouring countries, ancient art depicting camels is not unique, with a number of rock etchings and drawings discovered over the years. But these camels are stylistically unique, being completely different to anything else seen before. It is a new type of rock art for this region, with naturalistic, almost three-dimensional depictions showing arguably far greater skill than any other prehistoric engravers in Saudi Arabia. On this photograph, we can clearly make out the legs and lower half of the body of a camel, showing careful attention to detail. But sadly, much of the artwork is damaged from erosion and vandalism. Such detailed reliefs were generally only employed for architectural decoration, not for elaborate artistic scenes. Artistic work was generally in the form of two-dimensional engravings and drawings. This two-dimensional art includes scenes of war, raids and hunting, processions of animals, enigmatic symbols, geometric, zoomorphic and anthropomorphic figures, all of which are engraved amongst graffiti and inscriptions. Therefore this site, which is known as the Camel Site, offers the first known examples of both dynamic and realistic monumental art carved in relief in the region. So, what have the experts discovered? The camels are carved onto Lake Cretaceous Sandstone, which sits in the centre of a large oval topographic depression measuring 48 by 38 kilometres. The area is called the Sakaka Basin. The basin contains around 56 rock cut sites, even though there was no known water source or evidence of a permanent settlement due to the hyper arid climate. Therefore, the fact that we find these large, detailed, and elaborate camel carvings is amazing in itself. The 12 panels of the camel site, although eroded and damaged, are really quite amazing, or would have been before the damage took place. Here we see a camel, possibly lying down, raising its head towards what would have once been a finely carved standing donkey or horse. Here we see a drawing of the outcrop that picks out the detail. Here we see a badly damaged relief of a grazing animal on a badly damaged detached block. Although its head and hind legs are missing, we can see the prominent muscles of the animal's body. Experts think that this animal is a horse. Here we see the limbs of an animal on a fallen block of sandstone. This is a camel hump on another fallen block that has clearly been heavily wind eroded. Some of the lines at the base of the hump are thought to represent ropes. In this picture, we can see the head of a camel in low relief. A hump is also seen behind. The head is finely carved with a realistic nostril, left eyelid and mouth. As stated, there are 12 fantastic examples and when they were carved in antiquity across the rock face, it would have surely looked incredible. They were life-size reliefs with various themes. We see the meeting of different species, a procession of camels, and we can even see ropes attached to the animals, showing that it isn't just a natural scene, but also one of domestication. Erosion and damage has removed all traces of tool marks, so we don't know how they were made, but it is obviously the work of accomplished artists who respected the proportions of animals and worked very hard to make them realistic. The scenes are also incredibly difficult to date, and no scientific dating or micro-erosion analysis has been carried out. We know that camels were domesticated in this part of the world since at least the 2nd millennium BC, and camels appear in art from the Neolithic to modern era. Donkeys were also used in this region from the 4th millennium BC, but horses were introduced in the 1st millennium BC. It is possible that these carvings could actually be Mesopotamian in origin. 
It is thought, at the very least, that these carvings are more than 2,000 years old, possibly dating from the 1st century BC. Experts think that this site, and I quote, was an emblematic place of transit, one that was easily spotted in the landscape, and that indicated a way to go, or a starting point of a long desert crossing. It could mark the boundary of a tribal or political space, but it was certainly not a settlement. This is a truly unique and amazing place, and we are told that more work will continue in time. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.